Flexible insulated bus bars are used to connect distribution bus bars and cutoff devices. Quality work starts with an orderly shop. Bus bars should be stored on a flat surface and sorted by cross-section dimensions. To prepare your flexible insulated bus bar for installation, choose the appropriate cross-section dimensions. Your bus bar must be able to withstand the heat dissipated by the equipment in the electrical cabinet. Next, determine the length of the flexible bus bar you will need. Position the bar on your cutting tool. Take the necessary safety precautions at every step. For example, remember to wear your safety shoes. Now bend the bus bar into the appropriate shape. Position the bus bar in the cabinet to determine where the bend should fall. Next, bend the bus bar at a 90 degree angle. You can bend bus bars with small cross sections by hand. For bus bars with larger cross sections, use an appropriate bending tool. Whether you bend the bus bar by hand or using a tool, make sure your curve radius is appropriate to the bus bar's cross section. Too tight a bend can damage the insulation, resulting in hot spots. Another option is to simply twist the bus bar by hand, taking care not to pinch it. It is easy to tell when a bus bar has been bent properly. To strip the ends of the bus bar, you must first determine how much insulation to remove. You do this by positioning the bus bar in the cabinet. Make sure you remove just enough insulation to correctly connect your bus bar to the device. Use an appropriate stripping tool so as not to damage the copper conductor. You may need to make a clean cut to ensure that the copper bars line up perfectly. The final step is to punch the ends of the bus bar. Whether you use a punch or drill, the most important thing to remember is to center your bar. The diameter of the hole should be appropriate to the screw size. However, the diameter of the hole must never be more than half the width of the bar. Your bus bar is now ready to be installed.